Last year, the News 4i team has questioned city officials on whether enough is being done to deal with dangerous and aggressive dogs in our community. One of the big changes the I team has pushed the city for was to create a dangerous dog registry. That started in December. But we've had viewers reach out to us asking if more information can be added to the registry, specifically information about the dog owners themselves. Why aren't they listed? And does the city have plans to add the owners' names? The News 4 I team's Jordan Elder took those questions straight to city officials and brings us the answers. When we told you the city added photos of dangerous dogs to their registry, a lot of you had questions. The main one being, why highlight the dogs instead of the owners? Here's what ACS Director Shannon Sims had to say. The dangerous dog designation is not a criminal conviction. It's not a conviction of the individual. Because of that, you can't use kind of the same, uh, you know, where, where you're putting an individual's information out there because there's been no criminal conviction. So because these dogs have gone through the court process, which comes from the state, their information is included. But in some cities, owner information is included too. This is Austin's registry. It includes the owner's name and their phone number. In Dallas, you can see the owner's name too. The dangerous dog designation is about I think about both the dog and the owner. Kenneth Phillips is a lawyer that specializes in dog cases. He says for cities, adding the names is a judgment call. The proceedings to judge the dog are public proceedings anyway. And he doesn't agree with San Antonio's judgment. I think that the lawmakers who decided not to release the names of the owners have gone not far enough to protect the community. The registry could go further eventually. Sims tells me it's in the early stages and a lot of it is still manual. The automation of it is going to be key, you know, before we can really start looking at any additional data. But Phillips says he hopes owner names do make it on the page eventually. The balance should be on the side of the parents who want to kids keep their kids safe and on, on, on protecting the community. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder. Here's some other questions we're trying to get answered for you. Other cities also include why the dog was added to the registry, their breed, weight, and when the registration expires. So why doesn't San Antonio? Leaders say they may consider adding some of those elements once the registry becomes more automated. And we've been dedicated to bringing you answers on the dangerous dogs here in San Antonio. That includes two special in-depth newscasts on the topic. To see them in all of our in-depth special reports, just scan this QR code, which will take you to our YouTube page. And if you have a story or issue you want the I-Team to investigate, be sure to call the I-Team tip line or send an email to news4sa.com.